All right, good morning. And I think we'll go ahead and get started here in about a minute. Can everybody hear me okay? Darren, can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? All right, great. Well, thanks for having us. Um, as Mr. Bean said, we have um, new employees here, new teachers here to introduce uh, to you today. Um, to my left is, is Jamie Garber, and Jamie is our industrial arts teacher. Um, Jamie comes to us from Buckeye Career Center, previously had a class behind Tis the Season um, there the last couple of years. Um, Jamie came over to us today and, and picked right up and uh, has got some good things going on in his classroom. He's already started um, doing projects here in the building and um, also was able to bring in new equipment uh, when he transitioned over. So would just like to introduce Jamie Garber. Next, I have Marlia Linebaugh. Marlia teaches art for us uh, two periods a day. Um, Marlia comes to us after having some experience at the Home Center of the Arts, as well as some teaching experience in Indiana. Um, we're very excited to have Marlia on board uh, so we can continue to offer as many um, electives and many art offerings as we can. Uh, finally, we have Anna Miller. She does a lot of different things that include overseeing our online instruction for our students who chose that option. Um, she also helps in a couple classrooms throughout the day and also has helped us in, in spot subbing as well. Um, so I know personally I'm very excited about having Jamie, Marlia, and Anna here at Highland. Can't wait to continue to work with them in the future. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Sprang. Uh, Mr. Lunabor. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, great to be back to school and to uh, see everybody in the meeting. Um, I do have two young ladies here sitting with me, uh, Joanna Yoder. I don't know if she wants to raise her hand. Uh, she is the uh, tutor and spot sub here at Chestnut Ridge and Mount Hope Schools and is doing a great job, has herself scheduled uh, throughout the day to make sure she's working with students and small groups that need extra help. So it's kind of nice to have that extra intervention. And uh, she's doing a great job there working with our staff. And then uh, Ms. Shannon Troyer, she was uh, hired as our kindergarten teacher here at Chestnut Ridge, uh, kind of hired a week before school started and has done an awesome job of coming in 
getting her room set up on short notice and getting those kids started with the curriculum. And it's done a great job working with our staff and our other kindergarten teacher. And uh, we're just happy to have both of those uh, young ladies here at Chestnut Ridge School. Thank you, Mr. Lombard. Uh, Mr. Travis. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to introduce two staff members here in the Valley. Uh, first is Megan Amos. Megan is teaching fifth and sixth grade math and science at WISE. Uh, first year teacher that, again, starting in these unprecedented times, has done a really nice job, not only with the regular curriculum, but also then everything else that goes along with our safety measures this year. So appreciate all of her work. I'd also like to introduce Sarah Hostetler. Sarah is an intervention tutor at Flat Ridge and WISE. Uh, Sarah previously taught in Garraway, took some time off to be with her children, and is back as a tutor, and as she's done a nice job uh, getting to know each classroom and working with each classroom in different ways, mostly in either reading or math. So appreciate both of their work. And uh, Megan and Sarah, welcome. Thanks, Mr. Travis. Mr. Haven. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to introduce you guys to Callie Grenig. Callie comes to us from Cleveland. She lives in Beach City. Callie subbed for us last year. Um, so she was already on our radar when we were interviewing this year. Uh, she, she brings positive energy to the building. She just, I'm not sure if you could put it in words, she just, she has it when it comes to uh, bringing um, her skills into the building. She is our intervention tutor. Uh, she works mostly at Winesburg and then her also other big task, which sometimes takes up a lot of her time is working with our online students. Uh, she does a great job of building rapport with those parents, walking them through some of our uh, technical issues as we continue through this. Thank you, Mr. Haven and Mr. Blocklinger. Morning, everybody. I am going to introduce uh, Warden Neunschwander, and I'm going to have him take his mask off so that you guys can see his face. Uh, Warden comes to us, uh, taught in Florida, Indiana, uh, has a lot of knowledge with data, computers, uh, and, and, and we are so happy to have him. He's spending time with the online students. We have about 15 of those. Um, and then today he will be uh, team teaching with some sixth grade and fourth grade classes, um, subs when we need him to sub, but uh, we are very, very fortunate to have uh, Mr. Neuenschwander with us and all of the one. Did I freeze? Yep, you froze just at the end there, Mr. Blackley. Yeah, I freeze. For a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not sure where I froze at, but we're we're excited to have Mr. Neuenschwander with us. Um, he's, his skill levels are, are great and um, can teach a lot to classroom teachers, myself, about the data, so we're really excited to have him. Very good. Thank you. And I know many of you have your school days are starting for many of you, so uh, those of you, if you want to... Um, head on to your rest of your day, you're more than welcome to or stick around. Um, and we will, as we transition there, uh, Mr. Wilson, why don't you uh, go ahead next? So just a few things uh, from our department here. Uh, we're in a, the 90th percentile of completion on diagnostics, um, seeing all sorts of things in those results, uh, everything from some anticipated losses to some surprising uh, staying on target, even a, a few gains there. So the staff is busy working on developing plans of intervention uh, for the students there. Our grade three fall tests are ordered and uh, we're ready to roll out the reading improvement plans uh, once that testing is complete. Uh, it's uncertain at the state level whether or not uh, the third grade reading guarantee will remain in place. There's been no official announcement on that. Um, I would anticipate, though, that uh, we will be able to maybe escape that requirement here for this year. Uh, working to get all of our English as second language students screened uh, so that we can get the appropriate status and then the uh, testing accommodations that they need. 
uh, working closely with Amanda on finalizing the fall round of uh, federal funds. Uh, we're closing in on uh, finishing that off. Working through uh, Gifted, uh, developing an updated list across all the buildings to determine who's identified, who is actually served, and then just working to ensure that we have the appropriate screening measures and advancement courses in place for those students. And happy to report that to date, knock on wood, as of today, um, all digital curriculum issues have been worked through and things are uh, looking good in that avenue. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. And Mrs. Calzo. Hi, can you hear me? Okay. So special education and student services, we have been busy getting the kids back in the buildings, working on their curriculum. I think it's been great that for the most part, all of our students with IEPs are back in person. And that gives the intervention specialist the opportunity to work on those specially designed needs and provide instruction. We do have a few students doing the remote learning and we have been working with those families directly through Zoom or Google Meet um, to provide services in that way. So I think everything is going well for our intervention specialists and children with special needs. Um, we've been holding IEP meetings, ETR meetings by Zoom and that continues to go very well. I think families are finding it very flexible for their work um, they can zoom in from work. I've had families zoom in from their cars that are parked, luckily. And, um, and so that's been working really well. Um, we have some opportunities for professional development coming this year. So I am working with Mr. Wilson and we'll be looking at opportunities to bring some professional development to our intervention specialist and aides, um, positive behavior interventions, PBIS is something that's been ongoing for a few years in the state, and this would be our third year in that series. And this year is just sort of a review and wrap up and continue implementing that in our buildings. Um, and I know with Leader and Me in the district and a few other um, programs that we have going on in buildings, everything is aligning with PBIS for the state. So I think at this time, everything was looking really good for intervention and student services. Very good. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you, uh, your updates and, and also your staff, uh, your new staff, uh, at the, the later schools there, them filling up early and uh, everybody getting to see a name and face uh, with our new staff. And we welcome, welcome them to the district here. Uh, just a couple other things uh, to report. Uh, one is just our first reading of our fall uh, NEOLA board policy update there, uh, Appendix B. Uh, several policies there. Uh, number two is our uh, just quarterly um, business advisory council um, update uh, to satisfy that uh, state mandate. And then just in general, you know, we are now, um, you know, a little over heading into three plus weeks of school and, uh, you know, has not been without its road bump in the current environment, but um, overall, um, have been very pleased with the work that staff and teachers and, and leadership team have worked really well together uh, to make sure school is first safe and, and now shifting from those new routines to learning again. And, and I know that's rewarding and exciting uh, to start seeing uh, some of those, what we used to think is normal, some of those normal things happening again. So. Um, just feel very, very good about um, the start of the school year here as we're, um, yeah, keep stringing consecutive days along here, um, which is which, which is nice. So that's it. Amanda, Amanda, alrighty. Um, in your board packet, you saw the August financial statements. Again, as I just get more comfortable with the software, if there's something more or less you want to see, please just communicate that to me and. We'll figure out how to get it to you. Um, we did just go through our commercial insurance update. Uh, so this is our com commercial insurance and then our cyber security. So you'll see those um, asking for your approval on items number two and three. Uh, we did see a, an increase in our commercial insurance 
and small increase in the cybersecurity as well. Um, Eric provided more details on that in his, his update, I believe, it's last week or the week before. Um, Appendix E and F, those are emails to you in your board packet, but I did provide a printout for you so you can see it as I talk through. Just a couple items I want to draw your attention to. This is just certifying uh, new revenues for this fiscal year and then our permanent appropriations that are due in September to the county auditor. So on the front there, these are our revenues. And I, I wanted to highlight uh, these grants with, with the coronavirus. There is, there's a lot of money that the federal government is allowing us to use, um, which is great. So with that, there's a lot of guidelines to be following and the things to be tracking. Um, we're going to see the second half of our student wellness dollars come this fiscal year. So we'll see that first payment in October and then a second payment come spring time. Uh, there's some school bus money that we're going to be requesting, some a slight reimbursement that we'll be paying. The efforts on that's the big corona relief, um, a part of the CARES Act money that was set up there. And then the CRF fund is another part of that coronavirus money that we're seeing. Um, like John mentioned, he and I have been working very closely on trying to get all these things finalized. There's an application process and, and budgeting process, but you have to go through the different approvals. So I appreciate his work on that. Um, the remaining grants are grants that we've had before in the past, our idea B, and then our titles one, two, three, and four grants. We did see a reduction in that federal funding for those title dollars. Um, but with the help of that ESSER fund, it's essentially going to be a loss for us this school year. Um, no other big things that I really want to point out to you there in terms of revenue. We will see the uh, tax payment we saw in the first tax payment in August. Um, and if you recall, because of the biennial update last year, we did see a big increase in property, property tax revenue. On the back there are just our permanent appropriations. These actually did not change much from the temporary appropriations that we would have approved back in July. Um, I like to set those temporary as close as possible of what I think they're going to be. There were some slight adjustments to take care of updating those final grant numbers. Um, we had a ballpark idea, but those numbers are now finalized. And then just a few, or a few adjustments here and there. So that's for uh, numbers four and five. A couple other things I just want to bring your attention to of things that we're doing in the treasurer's office. We've been working through um, gathering our gap information for our financial statements audit. So that's been going on for about a month. Um, Ruby's been working really hard on updating new contracts for this school year and getting those into the new system. Um, Chris has been working really hard on the bus trip changes that we're having. So as soon as, soon as she gets a trip in, she's having to make an adjustment depending on what's happening at the visiting school. So I appreciate the work that they're doing. Um, at this time, I have nothing else, so I would ask for your approval for items one through five. I have a question on this. Sure. Um, the student wellness work with these guys, is that COVID? No, this student wellness was a part of the governor's budget bill back okay. in 2019, in fiscal year 19. And that's uh, the 11 categories Eric presented on it a couple of times, okay. mostly tied to mental health and wellness. And the CSR, that's the? That's a part of the Corona Relief. And the ESSER? Corona Relief. Those are the two. Yep. Another question? Any questions? Mm -hmm. Mr. Mullet? Yeah. Mr. Todd Miller? Yeah. Mr. Gertz? Yeah. Mr. Clint? Yeah. All right. Uh, new business. All right. Uh, for new business today, we'll be asking you to take one through six. Uh, the first one there is um, our two policies, two board policies uh, that we're going to make um, uh, active uh, with just one reading um, through another. We're allowed to do that through another policy that we have uh, in the case of a law change. And so the first one there is all titles or all around Title IX, and, um, and to keep us uh, compliant with that law, there's a lot. A lot there uh, around around Title IX that, that um, a number of staff have worked through um, as well, and then our also our face covering policy 
um, as well. Two of just our routine uh, bus routes for the school year. Uh, three is approval of our open enrollment students. Um, that's down about 12 students from last year um, uh, for, this, for this school year. Uh, four is our annual agreement now with Anna Allen Spring Haven to provide some counseling services to students. Uh, five is payment in lieu of transportation uh, for a few um, East Holmes residents that attend those schools. And then last is just approval of participate uh, in that uh, proof of claim uh, versus free pharma that um, uh, all of the ESC schools are participating um, in. Any questions or discussions? If not, we can remove from the student business. Mr. Burke? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. All right, for personnel, uh, I'll ask you to take one through seven. Uh, one is approval of Shannon Troyer, who was on the screen there earlier uh, at Mr. Lunaboard's building at, Chase, at Chestnut Ridge. Uh, number two is uh, approval of April Witter, who uh, started at the end of August to replace uh, Patty Grant uh, in the testing and curriculum office. A couple changes to the um, salary schedule there for a couple staff members. And then uh, Patty Grant will be coming back for six weeks to cover on maternity leave uh, in that same role. Uh, five, our annual approval of uh, our journey uh, teachers there. Approval of substitute teachers and then a list of uh, supplementals there, LPDC committee, student growth, uh, student growth measures committee, uh, volunteer coach, and middle school musical director. Any questions or discussion? Any motion to approve personnel items one through seven? Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Mollett? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mr. Spence? Yes. Thank you. My turn? Mm -hmm. The superintendent recommends that the Board of Education would accept the session for any of the following matters to consider one or more of the following reasons as indicated appointment, appointment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion. Of compensation for the public employer official. <clears throat> Any questions? No questions. Mr. Burke? Yes. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Point? Yes. Mr. Conrad? Yes. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.